Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Fallout 4 with me, Lathrix. And of course, a welcome back to the castle. In today's episode, we are finally going to be taking a bit of a break from all of the side missions and building up of our settlements, and we are going to be getting back on track with the main quest line. So I'm going to go ahead, get my power armor together, get some ammo for all of my weapons, and we will be heading over to Diamond City to talk to the detective about some possible leads to find our missing son. Also, I have two new weapons to test out. The plasma weapon and a very curious melee weapon that I showed off a little bit in the previous episode. Before we get to Diamond City, however, it seems that one of our settlements is currently under attack and sadly it is one of the least defended. So, time to test out my new weapon. Wow. That did pretty good damage. Well, admittedly it was a critical strike, but even so. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so these are gunners, so pretty elite mercenaries. And we're doing pretty well, even if I did manage to hit Codsworth Ave on the shots. Where's the last one? Oh, Codsworth, did you win? Well done, Codsworth! Okay, not that bad then. I mean, to be fair, they were pretty poorly equipped. I mean, look, no armor, no nothing. And I guess that's because this particular settlement isn't really worth much. Food 3, Water 3, Defense 5. It's really not much stuff here. Ooh, although we do get damaged objects. Although we have hundreds of plants, well, for at least 10 plants which seem to be still functioning. I guess that's a damaged one, so there we go. Repair all these, and then I guess we could put down a little bit more defense, so this place won't be attacked again. I mean, this is one of the settlements I don't really care too much about in terms of coming back and constantly upgrading it, so let's just put a few guns here and there, and hopefully it might be kept safe in the future. But where should I put Have the guns? About your cousin? No word yet. Let's just put one here, and then one on the roof. If we can. There we are. Perfectly safe, unless they come from the other side, but let's just hope they don't, because the more defense you have, the less likely it is it is actually ever going to come under attack. Okay, back to collecting my power armor. Now that's lovely. It turns out we had just about enough resources to turn every last piece of our armor into a Mark C. Well, Model C, which is significantly better than the previous type. Now, only the last leg is remaining, we should have enough resources for that one as well. Yes, indeed we do. I've only just realized this isn't even using steel, which I'm very happy with, and we are finally running out of, of ceramics. That's the first time I've ever been low on that, so I'm absolutely fine with that. Okay, everything has been upgraded, other than, of course, our T-45 and our Raider pieces, which I do want to replace as soon as possible, particularly the Raider piece, so we can actually get it painted up. What can we upgrade this with? Unarmed attacks cause bleeding damage, that's pretty cool, considering... Wait, can you actually use unarmed weapons with a power suit? I, I know you can't use the fists and such. I'll have that. I'll, I'll, I'll have a look at that in a second. Reduces action point cost for power attacks. That's pretty cool as well, but not really something we'll be doing too often. So, not really worth the effort there. And pff, I guess we could give it a welded plate for a bit of aluminum. I mean, it makes sense. There we go. Nice and upgraded for you too. Well, let's see then. Can we use the unarmed weapons, particularly the knuckles? And the power fist I got I got currently from killing the behemoth in Swan Lake. Let's see. Okay, well there we are, unarmed. Of course we can actually use unarmed as a weapon, but can we use the unarmed power weapon? Nope, you cannot. Okay, so if you actually want to fight unarmed, you can, but otherwise, yeah, that's not too much of an upgrade, honestly. Okay, back to going to Diamond City. Oh god, it's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? 
go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Did I just get a faded trench coat and a battered fedora? Well, I've always wanted to be a detective. Do you think I'd look good with that, Codsworth? Codsworth says yes. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me while I change into something more comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Okay then, so what are our options? We can talk about the murder, the vault, the kidnappers, or Sean. I would say, honestly, the kidnappers and Sean are pretty much the main things, but talking about the vault itself as well... Well, all of them good options, let's start with the kidnappers. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me... the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. Kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. What else can you tell me? Okay, well, we can describe the vault. Okay, I want to see how he actually describes Sean because, really, I still think Sean isn't going to be a kid because it makes no sense that Sean's going to be a baby anymore since I was frozen again after Sean was taken. It would be ridiculous to think otherwise, so... We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Mm -mm. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners, and of course there's the Institute. Okay, I've just went ahead and tried to turn up the audio a little bit. For some reason, the voices have gone really quiet again. I will say that Fallout has one of the most erratic volume settings ever. Sometimes it can be too loud, and other times it goes almost mute. So, what would I like to ask about? I know what Gunners are, I know what Raiders are, I know what Super Mutants are, and I pretty much get the idea of the Institute, but let's talk about the Institute anyway. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Yeah, I was going to say, he's like somewhere between the two, isn't he? He's certainly not realistic human looking, but he isn't like the robots I saw earlier, so... kind of want to know about him more now. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Okay, so... You're one of them, no. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Bold and scar, distinctive voice, carried a gun, outfits. Um, I would say either specifically bold and scarred or outfits. I'm going to go with the scarred option. One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Um, I actually don't know. Oh, yeah. I heard their names, their home addresses, <laughs> and where their diary keys are hidden. All right, all right, calm down. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but... 
no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. I hear that Kellogg st steals cereal. Anyway, so it's not Sean, it's Sean, another kid. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. And I have a big gun, so I'm less scared. I also have a robot that has a laser gun, a buzzsaw, and a really nasty nipping looking hand. You know, I feel pretty safe, honestly. Onwards then. You can tackle anything in that. I agree. My friends say outside is smell, but you don't smell at all. I don't know. After being in this suit all day, I can't imagine I smell great. Hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance. Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Okay, so we're dealing with pretty much like the head merc of ever, so that's going to be great. Also, Diamond City looks way better at night, because it looks more like a true stadium, which is kind of awesome, honestly. I didn't even notice, but there's like offices as well in the kind of um, the spectator area up there. That's really cool. The commentator area? Whatever you want to call it. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. Well, well you could get everything open earlier. That's one heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? No, master, no, no chance. I, pick this. I have upgraded my lock picking since I recently went um, no scavenging everything, but sadly. Find the key. No. Nick. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Yeah, because the mayor looks so helpful. I love doing that. I can't wait in, in, until I get a suit of armor with the jetpack. I'm not quite sure which, which model of, the, of these armors can actually use that, but certainly not this one, sadly. Unless there is an addition I just haven't seen yet. So it's certainly not in the upgrades panel. Sorry, Codsworth. Bye. I am the crow killer. But yeah, that looks. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy VII. Now I'm looking at it from this angle. I, th I think it's the really pure white lights with the kind of green aspect Why to it. Hello. He's afraid of talking to the press. I bet if I said I was with the Institute, he'd come running. Do you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? Um... What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's gonna be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Maybe that's another quest line for later. Most I hope so. Just looking for a hand. I really do like and Piper. It's just she seemed to go on a bit of a dead end last time. Now, by responsible citizens, do you mean ones wearing power armor who could probably kill everyone here if you would were to I don't know say no to them? No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Yeah, 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 I get it. Hello, oh, Maya. Yes, I remember you, our new arrival. 
I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? Oh, I hate this guy. Something about him, I absolutely loathe him. Well, let's be honest, anyway. A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. I will crush your skull if you say no to me. Why is that not an option? Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. Oh, of course. I, I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. Okay, so he's actually a lot more helpful than I thought he was going to be. Still want to crush his skull in my hands, though. Got to be honest, just throwing it out there. So, back to Nick then, I suppose. Kellogg must have left something behind. So, here we are in the house, and apparently we're meant to look for a bit of a clue. And Codsworth's already insulting my scrapping skills. Honestly, you're almost as bad as Curie. Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Well, I've got a lot of steel already, so that's pretty darn good. Okay, obvious button we're meant to use, but let's use that in a second after I've looked upstairs. Nothing here. Did you check out that desk? Honestly, I thought there'd be more upstairs than there actually is. Handcuffs, cooking pan, gold-plated flip lighter. Yep, absolutely nothing special here at all. So let's press the button and see what happens. Something's not right. Click. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Oh, well, yeah, that's a pretty big deal. Okay. Well, look at this. All of a merc's favorite thing. And most of my favorite things as well. We have water, we have glowing Coca-Cola. Well, weird cola, Nuka Cola, I suppose. We have an automatic shotgun, we're going to loot for well going to scrap for stuff lighter. We have more ammo, we have food, more cola. Any more ammo down there? Nick, Nick, please Nick, I'm trying no Nick, move your crotch away from what I'm trying to loot. Thank you. Nothing even there of interest after all that. Gas canister, creepy thing. Yeah, nothing really too special here, but still. So let's click on the thing we're meant to click on, which apparently is cigars. Gwinnett Stout Beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. What? The great clockwork dick is stumped? It's synth detective, jackass. If you're gonna be that way, you might as well get the make and model right. Joking aside, but what about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Codsworth, you're a little bit in the way, and I managed to belch three times during that, so well done me. Uh, so I guess we can use him as a companion for a while, or perhaps even permanently, which is pretty darn cool. Nick is a very interesting character. I would still rather use Codsworth, because I kind of want to get into Codsworth's good books at the moment, because at the moment he's the really cold towards you, and Codsworth's adorable, so... For now, for now, we're going to use Nick, just because I think he's going to be interesting on this quest. I want you with me on this, Nick. Oh, Codsworth, could you go ahead to the castle? All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. I've been told the Valentine Detective Agency signs are an eyesore, but they sure bring in the business. Oh, everyone's the hearts, aren't they? Well, let's just continue looting this, which is pretty much everything I've already grabbed, and we'll go outside. So, we need to go ahead and get the dog, which I think 
is yeah, he's definitely still in sanctuary because I built a little dog house for him, which is adorable. So we'll go ahead and get the dog, and then we'll go. Which means we might have to leave Valentine behind because, well, you can't have two companions at once, even with the dog. Oh, hello. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. <laughs> Ooh, we'll level up. Fantastic. Some more um, lockpicking skills for us. Okay, so where are we going? I'm assuming we're going to leave Diamond City. Hello, Codsworth. Oh, it's really sad. Codsworth's now just slowly walking all the way back to the castle. Somewhere where he's actually never been. Oh, no, I know he has been there before. Of course he has. He's been there as a sidekick. Apparently the security is over there. Really don't want to waste Fusion Core, but really want to sprint. Okay, just for now we're sprinting. Oh wow, that really does drain the core so quickly. Head on inside. No, thank you. I like how they've never closed the door since we've went in there. After all that defending the whole anyone entering needs to be looked at thing, it's a bit weird. So where are we going then? Hopefully not for too. Hopefully it's not too far away. Otherwise, it's going to be quite a long journey. Considering I'm using power armor, which I don't want to run in. Well, that was odd. Controls went a little bit weird there. Not trying to act. Did I teleport? Wait. How am I over here? I was going this way, then I aimed the other way. Okay, I'm going to look at that. I'm going to look back on the footage of that. Yes, I did teleport, because I was here, this is the exact position I was in, and then seconds later I was looking at the grate over here. Which means I just teleported, like, several meters for reasons I'm not sure of. Okay, well, not quite sure what happened there bit weird. Perhaps it's because of the companion. Perhaps I kind of rubber banded back to him or something. I'm not quite sure why that would occur since this isn't a multiplayer game so lag or internet connection isn't really of any value. Well done, dogmeat. Playful park. Ah, I found another one of these. San Francisco Sunlights. Dogmeat pick up the scent again? Kellogg's preferred brand, alright. Kellogg's still out there. You've got to track him, boy. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Change of direction. Oh, okay. Going down the tr the train tracks then. Seems pretty reasonable to me. Okay, we're going to waste a bit of our core, I think. We do have 19 fusion cores, to be perfectly honest, after this one, so we are okay. And we have several thousand bottle caps, thanks to our settlements. So it tells me this is going to be resistant against plasma. Yep, definitely correct. Let's change over to the shotgun. Which I finally changed from having a scope to having just a normal sight on, because using a scope on this was getting rather evil. Hello! Again. Yeah, they won't, because they're dead. Okay, good. We've we've gone off ammo in the armor-piercing machine gun. Wouldn't have been the best versus the mole rats, but even so, just nice and easy to use. Okay. What's down here then? And down we go. Oh well, I see a broken machine gun turret. That's always good. Div scrap for us. We also have a dead rider. Blooded bandages and like another yet another dead person. Stops. Keep your eyes open. Bloody bandages. Dog me can you, track this. That nose is second to none. I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? Now we continue. Dog meat is best pet. And we have friends already, excellent. Do you know what this game needs? More dog killing. It's really quite sad, honestly. Ah. 
Well, at least it wasn't too difficult. Uh, however, I really should start using my pistol again more. It's been recently upgraded again. I think it's pretty much the strongest you get with the regular upgrade, so really should use it more, honestly. Oh, I just like taking my dog for a walk. Even though the terrain now looks more like that out of a horror game, honestly, it's not the prettiest. Well, I'm not saying it's not pretty, but it's just a little bit spooky, honestly. My cores almost ran out. Oh, hello, what are you? Oh, why not you are? That's very creepy. Nope, running away. Flaming Plasma Glory. Plasma doesn't deal radiation damage, does it? I just thought because that would be less good against certain enemies. I think it does energy and ballistic damage, however we can check that later. Raiders? Or peaceful? Oh, settlers. Okay, yep, they're not attacking the dogs, so peaceful it is. Hello, random settlers. Hey. Huh? Excuse me. Lost track of how many blisters I got. Wow, a friendly ghoul. Is that actually the first friendly ghoul we, we've encountered in, in Fallout 4? I think it is. That's really weird. In number 3, they're all over the place. Oh, hello. Alright, the dog needs found something. That goes back fusion core. Do a quick save here, as so I feel like. Hmm, I wonder if that's a trap. Okay, he's been here apparently. He likes the same beer all the time, doesn't he? A Gwynet Stout. Lost the scent boy. Gwynet Stout. One of his creature comforts. Dog meat pick up the scent again? Okay, boy. Let's track him. So much wasted fusion core. A anyone else feel like around here is going to be an ambush? Because I'm getting that feeling. Small confined space, can't see directly in front of us. Yeah, this is going to be bad, isn't it? Hello! Well, not quite an ambush, more just ghouls. Sounded like an evil laugh. Oi! Well done, dog. I was just swapping weapons then, sadly. We'll be taking that. Is that it? Okay. This is like the only companion that doesn't belittle you for taking scrap. Just realised that, by the way. I bet there's stuff in there as well. Ooh, do we have time to scrap thing? No, okay, we'll come back to here later. I hope I actually remember to do that, because this seems like it's going to have a lot of scrap around. Tracking known mercenary. Exercise extreme caution. Damn. Ooh, loot. Hell of a party happened here. Oh, hello. Alert. You appear to be a bit broken. Signs. Alert. Critical signs. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Ah, oh, that's horrible. Oh, give me the options. Go on, there we are. Tracking. Ke okay, so ask about Kellogg. Just tell me where Kellogg went, Tin Can. Identity of assailant. Kellogg. We're still on track. Hopefully, he's not much further. Is that all you're giving me? Did he? Did you just completely stop his line, or I don't even know? Okay, carrying on. Once again, just to make sure Dogmeat runs a bit faster. 
Sorry, I mean Lipton. Your name Lipton. I don't, I don't care what the game calls you. Art and art. What the? It's gonna kill me. Please, you gotta help me. This guy's a synth, and he, he's gonna kill me and replace me and my family. Oh God, my kids! Don't you dare bring them up. He's the synth, and he wants to replace me. Please, please, you gotta believe me. You can't let that thing do this. Um, hi. Interrogate. Hey, I'm on your side. I just need you to tell me the truth. Then maybe I can help. I'm telling you, I'm not a synth. You have to believe me. The fact that failed. I think he is a synth. Shall we go out on a hunch and just like kill him already? No, let's be good. Once again, we're trying to get in the good books of our companions, and I'm guessing Nick is a good guy. Let's all just calm down. No one has to die. No, he wants me dead. He's never gonna stop. I have to kill. Don't listen to him. It'll say anything to convince you. Look, all I need is for you to put down the gun. Then we can talk this through. I... Yay. All right. I'm putting the gun away. Oh, thank God. Now I just have to dig two graves. If that's what you want. Okay then, so clearly you are a synth. Thought it was a really aggressive human. Bye bye. Yeah, look, synth components. I, uh, I need to get out of here. Wait, talk to me, Thank mate. You. Again. <coughs> You're welcome, Art. God, I'm still shaking. That was really weird. Okay then, that was a bizarre little random event. Up the hill? Or down the road? Up the hill it is. Where are we currently, anyway? Wow, we are really far out. See, this is where I thought the UFO crashed in the first place. But no, it's just a haunted forest. Looking prettier now the sun's out, admittedly. Or at least, that is morning. The lovely irradiated landscape. And I'm only just now realising that all the trees are dead. How long has it been since we've seen a living tree? I've seen a lot of like living bushes and such, but the trees are just gone. Oh, I see more bloody drags. What do you think, boy? Was this our man? Dog says yes. I believe in you, Lipton. Or oh, dog meat. A black bloatfly. Is that a more elite version of bloatfly? I've never actually encountered one of those. Don't really want to fight it though, honestly, because but I don't know. Just bloatflies are the one insect in this game I find absolutely purely disgusting. However, I do kind of want to see if it drops anything special. I don't think we're alone. No, really, we're not alone. I would have never guessed that. That's just this. Yes. Well, there we go. Oh, regular blood flight. There. And apparently a radstag doe. Where did the blood fly? Oh, don't say I can't find the loot now. Ah, whatever. Come on, let's just continue. Well, I can see a turret, which is indeed hostile to us, so... Wherever we are, it's not good. Fort Hagen! Dog meat's got the scent. Now we just gotta follow him to Kellogg. Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Dog is available to be our companion. Yes, I know. Hey, little dog meat. Oh, everything okay? Everything okay, boy? That is a yes. Don't worry, dog meat. Just saying hello. Oh. Hopefully, dog meat will go back to the 
place eventually. Okay, well, I'm afraid that we are all out of time for today's episode. It's far too late at night, and I think we should get some sleep before we go a little bit mental and start killing everyone in this fort, or at least I assume that's what's about to happen. So thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Fallout 4 is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you again for watching, and goodbye.